Alrighty folks, I'm extremely hungry and extremely angry from being so hungry. Anyway, I'm going to make some salmon meatloaf. This is a uh, recipe my mother made quite a bit growing up. She got the recipe from the Women's Day Encyclopedia that she had. Uh, basically, the, all the ingredients you need are a can of salmon, an uh, egg or two, some uh, breadcrumbs or bisquick or something like that, and um, what else? I guess that's pretty much it. You can kind of customize it as needed. Sounds like some people are moving furniture around upstairs or something. Anyway, let's get started. First thing you need, of course, is a dish to put the meatloaf in. Um, this is about the right size for one can. If you wanted to do bigger or smaller, um, you know, you'd need a bigger one or a smaller one, obviously, according to geometric principles. Next, I'm going to dribble a wee bit of oil in the bottom. Oops, that's probably a bit much. And then, kind of slosh it around to get the bottom um, well oiled a bit. Um, I guess if you had cooking spray or Crisco or anything like that. Um, or, or you could even just completely skip this. It's been known to happen without any massive catastrophe. One thing that's good about this recipe is it's really cheap. Um, I think all the ingredients together is probably, you know, three dollars, four dollars, and it's enough for uh, one person to make two or one or two meals, I don't know, out of it. So, and it's relatively healthy, I suppose. The salmon itself, uh, you know, I just got what was on sale, and that's why I'm making this in the first place. But, um, you know, just a can of salmon. This is about a 15 ounce can. Um, should do the trick. Get your handy can opener. Let's open it up. Of course, the gatos really want the contents of the can, so make sure to keep them out of it until the point of time. always said, you know, just dump the whole thing in, juice and all, give the can to the cat, and then uh, get your fork, kind of swish it down, you know, break it up, Oop. cats will like that, um, you know, kind of smash it down, so the, the uh, Canned salmon will sort of be in whole chunks, but you kind of want it more like what it'll be if you uh, open a can of tuna fish. So, just sort of break it up. Next, you need the uh, an egg. You can use two eggs if you want, it just kind of depends on how many eggs you have handy. Crack open the egg. I use uh, farmhouse eggs because that's the uh, egg company I own stock in. So, well, Calmaine specifically, but uh, egg stocks are a good uh, investment because people always need eggs. Um, there's always going to be demand for eggs, um, so good long-term investment, good dividends. Um, so that's one of my top uh, stock picks. Calmaine symbol, C A L M, Cal Calm. Um, so look them up. Okay. Now you can kind of get sort of a cutaway shot of, uh, I'm just sort of whisking the eggs in with the salmon. Get it all, you want it pretty well mixed in. So, I get it. Nice and mixed, evenly distributed. That looks pretty good. For this next part, my mother would always use uh, just sort of shredded bread, I think, like uh, stale bread or whatever. I don't have any of that, so I've been using Bisquick, turns out just as well. 
Um, you could use any kind of breadcrumbs or um, you know any sort of thing like that. So, and I'm not sure how much I use, frankly. I just sort of you know do what my heart tells me to do. Sort of you know, sprinkle it on there. Um, kind of maybe muscle manos enough to soak up the uh, the juice. That ought to do it. Then uh, basically just you know mix it all up. Just get it all nicely mixed up, and then um, if you wanted, you could add different uh, you know spices or seasonings. Probably at this point, um, you don't have to. You can also do that after hand. Just get it sort of nice and mixed up. And I'm gonna kind of make sure it's sort of even, even height all around. And then that looks pretty good. Next task, I want to preheat the oven to 350. Slowly but surely, there we go. Bake. Okay, oven preheated. Now I'm gonna try to stick it in with our getting burned. Oof, there we go. And let's stick it in there for 25 minutes. I think that's what my mother said. I have cooked this before, but um, yeah, 25 minutes. Let's see how that goes. I'm starting to feel extremely hungry right now. Another cost saving method you can do is to, uh, with a little, little time left, you can just go ahead and turn the oven off. Um, it should be able to retain enough heat um, to keep cooking in there for a wee bit longer till it's done. Okay, now I have my oven thing on. Looks pretty good. There's a little bit of moisture, but you could cook it a little bit longer if you wanted, I suppose, but that's good enough. Um, pretty much done from here. Now if you wanted you could add um, you know different salsas or relishes or you know even just ketchup or something I suppose if you wanted and um, basically you know this is sort of the template for to go forth from here. Um, yeah it's a pretty quick meal pretty cheap uh, pretty good tasting as well. Um, of course, I guess you could even put it on a sandwich or something like that. Um, but looks like it turned out pretty good. Um, tastes better than it looks. 